from barrenness to exploitation of resources and taking it out on nature. The path to healing starts with sustainability. Join us in exploring Oman's latest venture into the sustainable, the Ibri 2 solar power plant project. 500 megawatts peak capacity sounds alluring, but there's more to the solar power plant than just its output. The Ibri 2 solar power project is the first solar power plant to be connected to the main electricity grid, and the numbers are truly fascinating. The project reportedly cost 155 million rials from head to toe, which by itself is a landmark investment of its kind in Oman on a sustainable project. The project will also power a whooping 50,000 homes with electricity and reduce CO2 emissions by an even more impressive 340,000 tons. To take that into perspective, a passenger car emits approximately 4.6 metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. A fully loaded Boeing 737-800 flight on a round trip of Muscat to Moscow could produce 515 tons of CO2. Bulk carriers or ships, which are among the most inefficient machines on Earth, on average emit 440 million metric tons of CO2 every year. 340,000 tons is also how much CO2 was produced in the Tokyo Olympics when you exclude travel and accommodation. These examples draw a comparison of the offset by the Ibri 2 solar power plant on the atmosphere at large. The project itself is in line with Oman Vision 2040. It builds on the pillar of having an environment with sustainable components and effective and balanced ecosystems and renewable resources. To realize this with the Ibri 2 solar power plant was a mission by itself and one that includes Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. The project is a robust partnership between the Omani Power and Water Procurement Company, a Nama Group company, and a Gulf consortium led by Aquapower, along with the participation of the Gulf Investment Cooperation and the Alternative Energy Projects Company. Here's what Mohammed Abu Nayan, the chairman of Aquapower, has to say about the new partnership. This uh, G2G between the Sultanate Oman and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we are enjoying at the highest and the best uh, relationship at the top. So this plant has finished in 13 months. This plant has enjoyed excellent environmental record, excellent health and safety, more than 5 million hours without LTI. And I have to say that uh, most important that uh, today it is managed and operated and maintained 100% by Omanis. And that show you how competent the local Omanis to transfer knowledge, know-how, and competence and capability. Meanwhile, the success of this project will lay the foundation for future projects, says engineer Yaqub bin Saif al Kiyumi, the CEO of the Oman Power and Water Procurement Company. Here's an excerpt from our interview. This is a really a cornerstone in the de uh, deployment of renewable energy in, uh, in the Sultanate. Uh, the success of this uh, project sets really a good foundation for um, the, uh, for future projects and uh, uh, there is a belief on, on uh, the ability of the uh, Sultanate to attract an uh, FDI in this, in, uh, in this field. Uh, there is belief it really works in here. We have ground data that proves that it's bankable projects in, in the country. And that's why the pipeline is quite busy now with uh, future renewable projects and, uh, ranging from uh, and, uh, solar. In Manah, we've got two projects in the pipeline at the moment. Hopefully, the second half of this year will be awarded. Inshallah, and we also we've got wind energy projects uh, coming up on on, uh, on Jalan Bani Ali and uh, Dukum as well. Ibri 2 is technologically sound and implements world-first technology to keep the plant running at its best at any given time. The project was also built on an area of 13 million square meters, and it uses about 1.5 million double-sided solar panels and more than 7,000 kilometers of cables. This is what engineer Yahya bin Muhammad Al Rawahi the CEO of Shams Adahira Electricity Generating Company has to say. There is a target of achieving 20% of uh, renewables out of the total energy by 2030. And this is the first project in that uh, lineup. Uh, it opens the, the doors for this. The success of this project will be a turning point for launching other similar projects in the field of renewable energy, as Oman has plans on developing two plants to produce electricity using solar energy in the governorate of Al Dakhliya with a total capacity of 1000 megawatts, in addition to wind energy projects in the governorates of South Al Sharqiyah and Al Wusta. The future of Oman is definitely in good hands.